Hey, folks, this is Lonzo, the Godfather of West Coast Hip Hop. And today I'm a reporter for the Compton Chronicles. You know how we do it, folks. Right here on this show today, I got a partner of mine, good partner of mine. I've been watching this young man for quite some time. I watched him to, to develop to be a hell of an attorney. And the other day he invited me out to an event right there in Compton at uh, my man's Holy Chapel Church, right there, my man JT. I call him Pastor JT. I've been calling him JT forever, James Thomas, Pastor James Thomas. Uh, and um, there is a cab coming to the area that I think we all should be aware of. Um, it's a very interesting program. And if you have, if anybody has anything of value, a house, car, don't have a will, don't have a trust, uh, if you've got a house, especially, you don't want to be in probate. You don't want to see probate. He'll tell you all about that. This brother, his name is James uh, Joe Richardson. I called him Esquire Joe. That's from my boy from the movie uh, Soldier Story. Right, and uh, right. here he is, folks. Joseph Joseph Richardson, aka Esquire Joe. What's up with you, Joe? Big Lonzo, how are you, man? It's good to see you, like always, brother. Man, it's always good to see you, man. I'm glad to see you doing your thing, Doc. You take me to another level. When yeah. you uh, were speaking the other day at the church, you were talking to me because. I got some of those things, but they're not up to date. And sure. I'm like, damn, I'm glad I came here. <laughs> sure. And listen, it'll create some problems. I, I'll tell you a quick story even before we get into it. I was talking to a family member of a famous black comedian who will remain nameless. I'll preserve that. And the long and the short of it is uh, the dad died and uh, then the wife, who was the stepmother, died. And there are things that are projects that are not done and that are not completed that the kids who really are the guardians of the legacy don't look like they'll be able to carry forward just mm. because of the state of the paperwork. Wow. And so, you know, imagine even for somebody like you, Lonzo, I mean, you, 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 you are a public figure and you, and you have a story and all those types of things. You would want everything about you to be in the right hands. Exactly. And and sometimes, you know, people don't think of that. And, uh, you know, you know, avoiding probate, you know, avoiding probate is one part of the larger issue of avoiding confusion. People go out, you know, people come out of a bag when folk die, you know what I mean? And, and when things happen. And so the more certainty you could provide to your situation for the people that are that are that are coming behind you, the better off you are. You and you're going to save them a lot of money. You're going to save them a lot of time. The people that you didn't like, they'll know you didn't like them because you left them <laughs> out of the well. Right. <laughs> At least it'll be clear, you know, that if they want to scrap and fight, well, they'll know what they're scrapping and fighting about. It's yeah. not going to be daddy meant to do this. No, he meant to do that. No, here's what daddy did in black and white. Right. And and that's that. And and uh, I think that every family needs that. That's fantastic. Man, t- tell us about the program man. the uh, the company. Well, what's interesting is that we have a managing partner who I've worked with before. His name is Rich McCune, and he was always a visionary. And so he really, you know, my dad used to always say, Joe Jr., when I when I asked for something, he, he would tell me no. And I tell him why. He said, you're looking to the corner and I'm looking around it. Mm-hmm. And so Rich is a guy that really looks around the corner in terms of what's coming next. One of the issues that we have is that in every other area, uh, from a capitalist standpoint, somebody is doing the things that are state of the art. In other words, somebody is doing something that affects, affects where we are. We actually think the legal profession is one area where, where they aren't doing it. Okay. And so and when we ask where we're going, in several states already, areas of law have already been doled out to paraprofessionals and paralegals where they don't have to have attorney um, supervision. Okay, that's happening in Arizona. That's happening in Utah. That's starting to happen in California. Okay. And so what that means is there's a huge gap between uh, your legal Zoom folks who pay to do something uh, themselves, do it yourselfers, and paying an attorney a fortune for doing something for you. There's this whole other area here. Okay. How can you maybe? Uh, keep a relationship and have the expertise and the competence to make sure that something is done right. See, there's a lot of smart people that get paperwork wrong. Okay. Right? okay. So how do you make sure that the paperwork is what it needs to, but you don't have to pay a lawyer fee for it. Okay. And so pro se legal is at pro se legal.com P R O 
S E L E G A L dot com um, helps with legal document preparation. And so it will tend to be things that are now uncontested. If you own your house and you put your house in will and trust, put your house in a trust and have a will. But what happens with wills and trusts is this. You can have a will all day long, but if you own a house and you didn't put that house somewhere, all you're saying is judge, mom, dad, kids, wife, look at the will and see what I want done. Well, what's the easiest way to do it? The easiest way to do it is to put the house in a trust so that the will is followed without the probate court. See, a lot of pop, pop, a lot of people think that as long as you have a will, you'll keep your house out of probate. That's not true. Now, mm-hmm. the the probate judge will read the will. They'll look at it. They'll okay. see if it's contested. But if it's not in joint tenancy, the exception is not to get too deep. To husband and wife married. It, it'll be a non-probatable asset if it's to them in joint tenancy with the right of survivorship. So automatically, the other living person uh, you know, gets the house. But that being said, well, you got four kids and you don't like two of them. <laughs> so, so the wife is so upset. She dies too. Now what? You go into probate. That's what's happening. Okay. Mm. And so you need as much certainty as possible in terms of your paperwork. A lot of people think that, uh, you know, power of attorney, people come up with power of attorneys when people, once people die. Power of attorney is for when somebody is alive. If you didn't know that, Built. That's where you need to start right there. You know what I mean? So there's two things. Um, a lot of people think that these things are, first of all, that they don't know that they need them. That's thing one, right? Everybody with a house needs a will and a trust. And right. everybody with anything needs some kind of paperwork. Everybody that's living and breathing needs an advanced health care directive. Right. They need right. a power of attorney so that if something happens to me, who's going to make the call about what happens? This doesn't leave. It doesn't transfer. I'm perfectly healthy, but I've got a plan power of attorney, which is basically POA, plan of action, plan Mm. power of attorney. Okay, so Mm -hmm. that if and when something jumps off, everything from uh, organ donation to whether or not you guys uh, pull the switch on me, if uh, they have said that that the that the diagnosis is bleak and it doesn't look like I'm going to live and I'm going to come to or come back or whatever else. All of those things, it's just like car insurance. And Lord willing, we all have car insurance. There's good people that have to make the choice right now between gas and car insurance. But ideally, we understand that we need car insurance for just in case we have an accident. Right. And so this is basically the same type of situation. It's It's the same type of thing. And a lot of people don't know that they can get it. They don't have to pay a fortune. They don't have to pay well, you know, an attorney four thousand dollars. And, th- and I think that's probably the biggest problem, especially in our community, man. Where mm-hmm. folks, you know, we start talking about attorneys. We know attorney fees can be somebody uh, a week's salary, okay? That's right. For that's an right. hour of my time, that's an right. hour of your time costs me a week of mine, okay? That's right. And that's I right. get to eat, okay? That's right. That's right. Now, that's ideally, right. right now, ideally. Uh, we would go to the doctor, right? And you, you and Kaiser, you go to you go to Kaiser, not necessarily because anything wrong. But most of the time, you go to Kaiser ideally to get your checkup and make sure everything's cool. But you okay. also know you can go to Kaiser as your primary care if you don't know quite what's wrong, but you know something's wrong. Like Keith Sweat said, something, something, something just something ain't right. 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 Okay, something's wrong. And what do they do? They send you to the specialist. They send you down the hall. They send you to Sunset or whatever the case may be. Right, but we're right. taking the same medical model for legal. Pro se is like the primary care physician. Now, you come, a, month, is it a monthly fee or something like that, a subscription or? No, we're not doing subscription right now. What we do is just fee for service. And so for the service that you get, you're paying a certain amount for it. It could be as little as 100 to $200, depending on what your what you're actually getting. It could be more expansive, like 500 to 1,000, depending on everything that you're getting. Like right. you, you may get a will, a trust, advanced healthcare directive, all of those things where you have in one place for in case anything happens to you, here is the plan of action, mm. okay? It could also be, oh, I wanna start a, a corporation or LLC, or I wanna fill out a uh, labor board paperwork because I have a, uh, I have a wage and hour issue. 
filling out paperwork, uh, could be immigration paperwork. It could be a lot of different things that don't necessarily require you to go to court in contention. In other words, if somebody is suing you, could we theoretically maybe help you get something filed? Theoretically, we could. But most of the time, what we're looking for is to help you file something where it's you and the court and it's not contested. Because when it is contested, if it gets to that point, you probably need a lawyer at that, at that point, okay. which we would also refer you to. OK. OK. And so, so they're the primary care physician that says, OK, you look good. We get this paperwork for you, this paperwork. You put this away in a nice, shiny place. Let the daughter you trust know where it is for if in case you need it. All right. So people aren't fighting at the hospital about who has the power of attorney. All right. right. But if based on the talk and the di- the conversation and the diagnosis, there's more going on than just this. If you go and to fill out some some labor board paperwork because you're not getting your your lunches or you're not getting your 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 overtime. And it turns out that 100 of y'all in the same position. Now they're calling me uh, and I, I'm doing the class action. OK. Okay, and so we can send you to that specialist if need be. So if you think of it as a as a legal as a the legal as a medical model, pro se is the the primary care physician. And to the extent that you need something more than just maintenance and putting you into a place, we'll refer you a lot of time within our system because our law firm, McCune Wright Aravalo, that runs parallel, but it's a separate entity does everything for the consumer, just like Mm. the big corporate firm does everything for the employer or the big corporation. We do everything for the little guy. We do appellate work. We do personal injury and wrongful death. We do medical malpractice. We do my my department is called racial and economic justice. I see a lot of employment stuff. I see a lot of civil rights stuff. I see a lot of class actions. We hit Wells Fargo for two hundred and three million dollars on check overdraft fees and mm. you know people that are real understand that anybody you know wells fargo just a little knowledge real fast wells fargo bought wachovia because there's a whole lot of regular people at wachovia that get overdraft fees okay. that's where the money is in banking wow yeah 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 yeah, yeah. that's where the cheese is okay? okay so we have found a niche our firms not my department but our firm to go after the big banks related to their check overdraft fee policy because if you're regular let's keep it real right you got three hundred dollars in the bank you got four checks you know the first three is gonna make it in right but the fourth one won't but you seem like you'd be okay because that one comes a little bit further back right you you, you'd be timing it and and trying to right right. right. so 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 wells fargo i mean anybody feel me i'm just being real So Wells Fargo, what Wells Fargo would do is they would take that big check, which they know is not going to come through, run that. So now you got overdraft fees on that. Then they run the other three. Right, right. Now the money's really gone. So instead of one potential overdraft, you got four of them. Right. And you got $33 to $100 on each of those checks. That's where they make their money. So we started suing them on that. So my point is we try to do the things for the little guy. And the best thing we could do related to this is pro se because pro se gives you the access and it gives you the access before the event happens, before somebody dies and you standing on the corner doing a car wash, before somebody dies and now you and your siblings, you know, with this DNA, other folks have found out their siblings or whatever else, and they show up when somebody dies and say, well, it's my house too. He's my daddy too and all this other stuff. You know what I mean? You know. It allows us to give you as much predictability and certainty as possible before everything hits the fan, before people get sick, before things happen. So it's important. Most people need something, that, if not anything other than the power of attorney and advanced health care directive. They need something they offer. You know, if you live on a block and those houses are owned on the block, every house on the block should be in a trust, almost certainly. You know, with a few exceptions, you know what I mean. So it gives you that predictability and helps you that way. Okay, man. You know, when you when you talk, spoke about this stuff, like I said before, you struck a nerve big time. Right. Something, I'm, something's been on my mind for a while. I got Legal Shield, but I'm just giving them for thirty dollars a month for nothing because I ain't done the damn thing. I ain't sold. I ain't signed nobody up. I ain't uh, done other stuff. Only thing I like about their program is that they have a button that you can push 
if you get pulled over by the cops, you can push this button, and that button will allow you to uh, an attorney to record that conversation right. with you and with you and the police. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Don't, those things have some advantages, yeah. you know. And I'm not trying to knock any of those other services, but they're different. So with legal services, first of all, a lot of times you, with your prepaid legal, most people don't know what they have until they try it, right? Mm-hmm. And by then they've already paid on it for years. They don't know what they have or what they don't have. What you probably don't have, though, almost certainly, I can tell you, for what for whatever you do have, what you probably don't have is an attorney relationship. No, I so you you deal with them two times. You're probably going to deal with two different attorneys. You're going to get two different personalities, and you might get two different results related to the same problem. Okay, mm. legal Zoom is cool if you would do it so yourself or and you know what you're doing. Right. That's that's the biggest thing. Not that you're that you're not smart. No, no, baby, you smart, but you're dealing with something you never dealt with. Sixty right. to seventy percent of people that pay for legal zoom to have free access to have access to a service do not complete it. Mm. Okay. Crazy. So ask all your legal zoom friends. Okay, did you finish? Well, oh, well, I hadn't gotten right. You him and all whatever else. So you know. For a price that's not a whole lot more than that, you can actually have the relationship, have the guidance, have have the connection, you know, that kind of thing, um, and be able to talk to the same person every time. So you basically it's like a, a paralegal service or right. a, mm-hmm. paralegal ser- a, a, a certified paralegal service mm-hmm. with attorneys that look up, you know, make sure everything is going straight. So there won't be no problem. If you need an attorney, we got one. But right. paralegals can basically handle the business. That, that, that makes a lot of sense. In fact. I even know a couple of um, uh, doc- doctors. What's called those uh, uh, physician, physician, physician physicians assistants that do a lot of stuff from home. Yeah. Now. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh they, yeah. They they, they they write prescriptions. So it's, right. you know, it's uh, okay. time is changing. The world is changing, and I, I'm glad I was able to hear what you guys are doing. I'm definitely gonna give you a call because I got things I got to handle. And uh, it's just, you know, when you get older, man, you're like, damn, you know, right. this shit. <laughs> yeah. when you 22, 23, 24 you years old, you 35, right. you don't think about this stuff. But everybody is one incident away from having some uncertainty if your paperwork's not what it what it needs to be. And um, if you have anything or anyone depending on you, there's the potential that you need some paperwork. And that's a long yeah. short of it. The question just becomes how much? And then, okay, you want to start your little side hustle, start your little corporation, make sure that's the way it needs to be. Here's what I would do. Go to your tax professional, make sure you understand the kind of entity you want to open up, and then come to Pro Se and have them do the paperwork for you. Right, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Be, so you can be strategic about that and put all that together. So where's Pro Se at? Pro Se is actually all over Southern California, and we are uh, in the next couple of months opening our first uh, branch in LA County. We're going to be in Carson. Okay. Uh, and boy, I forgot the address, but we're going to be in Carson. You can go to ProSeLegal.com. And by the way, we actually have a mobile van. What? That is COVID friendly. So okay. the question is not even where we are, the question is where you are, because we actually can come to you literally okay you know you, you listen you COVID sensitive you didn't want to you don't want to leave out you can come in the van sit on one side of the glass and transact mm. okay literally um and so basically we're all over southern california in the next oh year or so you will probably see 10 to 20 of these statewide okay. mostly in southern california um a lot of them in southern california but we're making our move into LA County now. And the first one that we're gonna open is uh, is Carson. And Carson is actually going to be a hybrid office. So there will be somebody from the law firm there. Okay. And there will be somebody from Pro Se there at the same time. Okay. okay. Pro Se person, that's paralegal or um, Say that again. The, pro, the per, person from Pro Se, uh-huh. that would be a paralegal or? Um... Yeah, it's going to either be a, L, a LDA, a licensed uh, legal document assistant. Okay. Or it's going to be a paralegal. And most of the time it'll be both. I mean, depending on how many people we staff uh, in the office at any one time, we have both full-on paralegals and, and LDAs. And you, so you have that. Where do you go to school to become an LDA? I never heard that before. 
Um, there's a lot of places, actually. Um, you know, most places that do paralegal services, mm -hmm. and sometimes you can actually get the training in a place like okay. the one that we're at, build yourself up to take the test, you know, that type of thing. It's good work. And listen, if, if you're looking for something where you can always be busy, that's mm -hmm. the next frontier because more of this is going to be happening, not less, because just like these other states. And by the way, I'll separately tell you, we're actually going to have offices in these other states, Arizona, Utah, like I told you, because mm -hmm. because that's what's happening and opening up in California. There's a couple different areas of law where you're not going to have to have technical uh, oversight by attorneys. And so what that means is that has the potential to bring your price way down. But at the same time, what we want to be able to do is still make sure that any and all expertise is on hand, not only to give you just that much more assurance, but in case you got a little bit more than what you thought you had. Okay. Um, you know, we could probably help you, you know, in-house through our own attorneys or through our network of attorneys. We've got 25 attorneys right now. We've got four or five offices in Southern California. Um, Carson will be the next one. We're in Irvine. We've got a couple offices in the Inland Empire, and we actually have a couple out-of-state offices. So McCune Wright Arabalo is going to be growing as well um, to meet the need um, because there's just going to be more need. Sounds like a great program, Doc. I'm looking forward to working with you, man. I, yeah. I'm I'm going to give you a call and get the numbers. I need to get started on some stuff. You know, just you know, you never know about nothing, man. So you yes, know, you feel man. comfortable and know that you, you, you at least you got to start it. You got somebody that knows your situation. Yes. You it, you know, um, you know, you got to do it piece by piece, whatever your money can stand. But you at least right. got something done. But you this know? and this is this is an opportunity. You know, most people that have looked at doing these things with attorneys are going to be absolutely shocked that it's as cheap as it is. And to be perfectly honest with you, I used to be in a law firm where we would charge, you know, three to four thousand dollars to do a corporation. You don't have to do that anymore. Hmm. You know what I mean? That I mean, you can make an end run out of that and you might be paying a third of that. Maybe. Wow. If that. Wow. If that. That's beautiful. Yeah, That's it's a beautiful. different it's a different time, man. And those of us that meet the the moment related to that we're going to give, and this is a great thing for members of our community to actually have the access and the ability to formalize these things so that you protect the things that you earn, the things that you build. You have a family house that you want to go down generations. You know, you need to have as much certainty surrounding those things as possible. And it's, as it turns out, it's just not, it's not that hard to do. Okay. Works sound like a winner to me, Doc. Sound like a winner to me. Anything you want to say before you wrap it up, Doc? Man, it's just always good to be here with you. Um, they can check us out. They can go to prosaylegal.com, P-R-O-S-E-L-E-G-A-L.com. They can go to McCune Wright, M-C-C-U-N-E-W-R-I-G-H-T.com. Or you can just look up Attorney Joe Richardson. You'll see us pop up. Uh, I've been suing a lot of people on the employment side. We've got a major class action against Cal State right now for wage disparity. So we were on most of the L.A. channels a couple of weeks ago. And so we're going to stay on our grind, man. And so we'll be out here, but we've connected to the community, born and raised in South Central um, and, and still have a heart uh, for our community. So we're really trying to do things uh, that help us out. All right, man. Much love to you, Joe. Glad to have you on the show. Thank Esquire you. Joe, a.k.a. Joe Richardson, folks, from per, uh, was it Pro Se? Pro Se Legal and uh, McCune Wright Aravalo. We, we represent both today. All right, folks. Thank you very much for coming with me, Doc. I, I will holler at you later. Much love. It's time to go get something to eat, folks. Uh, in the meantime, it's Lonzo, the Godfather, West Coast Hip Hop, my partner, Joe Joe Richardson, S a.k.a. Esquire Joe. Much love to you, Doc. Thank you for coming on. Thanks, Thank bro. you for sharing the information. Folks, check us out, y'all. Download the app. This, this show will be available on the app. The, the uh, Compton Entertainment Chamber of Commerce app. Just go down, go to Facebook. I mean, sorry, go to Facebook. Go to Google Store or your iPhone Store. Download the app. It's free, folks. This 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 content will be available on our app in about fifteen minutes. Peace, folks.